Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Hey, Happy Wednesday, late night crafts and laughs. <clears throat> How is everybody doing? Let's say hi to our friends. Sounds like cousin one. Bonnie. Yeah, cousin Bonnie got here first. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, hi. cousin Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. <clears throat> Gina S is here. Miss Rosalinda is here also. Welcome, welcome. And how is everybody doing? What are we up to? <clears throat> how are you, Rach? It's us. I'm pretty good. Um, it's Wednesday. I'm feeling less frazzled because I don't have to worry about work tomorrow because it's spring break. And I um, don't have to worry about making kids lunches and all that stuff. So um, wow. I look forward to <clears throat> crafting tonight without the pressure looming. Without the added pressure of being done and doing the housework. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> Robin is here also, and Sandy, and Sophia. Hello. Welcome, welcome, guys. So, what are you making, Rach? I can see some stamped images right there. And yes. Uhuru markers. I'm pretty excited because um, <clears throat> with this spring fling business, I am <clears throat> caught up in doing Mother's Day cards. And so, I am going to... Um, be using this digital greeting farm image i think she's perfect for mother's day with the the tea theme and you know me and tea and coffee cups and all that stuff so it's right up my alley and that's then right I'm going to be turning into mm -hmm. a box card so this is a file from cricut that i've cut out in pink and then i am using this pattern paper and i'm going to assemble it into a greeting card uh, explosion greeting card and then these are the colors that I'm using tonight to color my <clears throat> stamped image with so that's oh what I'm working on. what are you doing tonight that's absolutely super cute let me say hi to the friends <clears throat> who just got yeah. in so hello Bevs hello hello Sam hello Sassy Sassy's here also I said hi to Sandy already and welcome, everyone. Happy Wednesday. What I'm creating today is I'm creating this. I think this is perfect <clears throat> for every gift-giving occasion, especially for Mother's Day because, <clears throat> you know, you can put chocolates if you want to. You can also put a gift card right here, a gift card for your mom if you want to. The gift card is optional. I'm not even sure I want to do the gift card. But it is super, super cute. <clears throat> and it is a shaker right here. And there's space for chocolates mm -hmm. or whatever gift you have. If you want to give your mom jewelry or money <clears throat> or a gift card, it's up to you. Hello, hello, Julie. I Creative Chica is Julie. Hi, Julie. Right? Creative Chica is Julie. And Wendy, hello, Wendy. I hope that that is correct. Bev says, good night, sis. Doctor appointment in the morning. Good night, Bevs. Good night, Bev. <clears throat> I hope, I hope, creative chica, I think is Julie. But let me know if that is not correct. Um, I will write it down. <clears throat> so we're going to assemble this one. So I'm going to put my pieces together first. And then everything that is required to make this is in the description box below for you i took the liberty of stamping them already yay julie finally got it i keep calling on uh, julie a different name oh for a long time <laughs> sorry julie well you're so good with everybody's names i love it i'm trying but i'm so glad she forgave me <laughs> this um, stamped image that I'm using tonight is not actually a stamped image. It's a printable digital file from Greeting Farm. So if you want to color along with me tonight, you can actually go to the Greeting Farm stamp site and go to their digital images. <clears throat> we'll be able to get this cutie right away, print it out, and start coloring it, um, which I always think is fabulous when you see something in a project that's inspired you. And you know, you want to go for it right away. You can do that tonight with this image. So and you don't wait for shipping, right? Yes. <clears throat> and or you can pick it up. That's what's always wonderful about digis. Yep. It's the immediate satisfaction of getting your 
product with you immediately. Yes. And if you have a silhouette cameo or a cricket, I didn't do that tonight because I was in a hurry. You can upload it there and you can get it so that it does the fussy cutting for you. So I could color all this and then get it fussy cut. I'm just going to fussy cut it myself tonight, but you could do that if you were um, <clears throat> that. mass so, production. Yes, exactly. But I'm just going to have two colored because I plan on making two uh, two cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have Christina <clears throat> in the house. Erica is in the house. And we have another Julie. Her name is Julie, and her name is Scrapper RN. Hello, hello, Julie. Welcome, welcome. We got two Julies right now. That's welcome amazing. to the crafty community. Welcome to Late Night Craft and <clears throat> We are here online every Wednesday night from mm -hmm. 9 to about 10.30-ish Pacific Standard Time. Yes, 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 yes. We are here. So Craft tell us. Hanging out. So tell us what's what what's mm -hmm. new with and what's new with you. Oh my gosh. So I did the marathon on Saturday. Whoa. Thank God I didn't break any bones. It was intense. Wow. <clears throat> um I am getting busy at work, as you know, Rach, because I tell you everything. So I'm into this um like improvement program. <clears throat> where we're studying we're studying how to better problem solve for our organization and that is with the with the changes in my schedule because <clears throat> I'm mid shift so I don't normally wake up early but for this for the classes the modules <clears throat> my schedule is getting changed and so that's hitting me pretty hard so that I can um go to class so today was yeah, today was a little bit challenging because I woke up with two hours of sleep. That's why I took a nap, <laughs> like an infant. <clears throat> what about you, Rach? What's well, happening in your neck of the woods? My neck of the woods, well, it's spring break. So this is week week one of spring break because here I am. The kids get two weeks break. So um, we're sort of like easing into the break here. And... Uh, I did something really crazy with them on the rainy day on Monday. We made oobleck and it was fun. <laughs> it was fun and it was messy, but it was it was pretty contained. I took your suggestion of using those um foiled foiled pans. Um, yep. Throw it out when we were all done. So that was a great tip that you shared. And, Imagine uh, you have to clean that up. Oh, I couldn't. It was so funny because they saw the original show. So my son, my son kept saying, um, "Mom, you can't put it down the sink. It will clog your sink and get stuck. You have to." <laughs> so cute. He kept reminding me because I really wanted to just throw it down the sink. But it was wonderful. I didn't have to worry about that at all. So you're gonna have to put it in the trash bin. That was um Monday and. Yesterday and today, they've had like a sleepover, so they've been gone actually all day at their grandparents' house. Uh -huh. So, was able to do a little bit of extra crafting. I made these bracelets. I went to Michael's and did some shopping. So, about that, I had to make some. Them. So, I chose so my two cute. one little bird, happy. <clears throat> those as a reminder on my wrist. And then I'm excited because I'm in the process of planning a day trip over to Victoria, Vancouver Island because I'm in yeah, Canada. The kids have never been on a ferry. So I'm kind of like gearing myself up to take them over to the to the island. I think some, Samantha had a question of which cricket I'm using. And I'm just mm -hmm. using the cricket Explorer to cut out the box. Part. So on one 12 by 12 sheet of paper, I am able to cut out two of these exploding box cards. And you'll see tonight how easy they are to put together. And they give the big wow factor to people that aren't crafty. Yay, yay, yay. 
Julie said she saw the dance video. It's like the the Beyonce drop challenge that we did oh. at work. <laughs> that. Yeah, my coworkers. One of them, the first part. One of them was our doctors. Our young, one of our young doctors. He was hidden in the back. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. <clears throat> and I was asking him, so where did why where do I tag you? What's your Instagram handle? He's like, I don't have any social media. It's like, wow. I'm older than you. I could be your mom, but I have all the social media. <laughs> hello, hello, Tamika. Welcome, welcome. Night shift. Yes, it is night shift. And, you know, it, mid shift is very, very busy. And normally, mid shift doesn't have time to fiddle with that. It's just too much. <clears throat> night shift is a little bit on the chill side. Um, so <laughs> that's why I was able to do it with my night shift people. Because I, I cross cover both shifts because okay. i start three mid shift is three to eleven and i go three to three so i'm able to play with my mid shift people and i'm able to play with my night shift people for four hours <clears throat> bonnie Hello, was you and say i thought, see how busy you are at work yes yes we were we just did it it was <clears throat> after like an onslaught of we were able to discharge some people and we were like i've been thinking about this all day let's just do it that was two in the morning wow so let's just go for it because we're never gonna have time and then i'm going home soon so that was two in the morning it's an hour before i went home and you still had all <clears throat> energy, energy. <laughs> erica says i was showing my coworkers today <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we were in the area where Fast Track happened, and the doctor already went home. So that's where we were doing it, the Fast Track. Because that lane is already closed at that time, 2 in the morning, so they close like one thirty. Did your coworkers know how big you are on, like, how much you do social media, or was that a shock to the doctor? Did they? Um, no, no, they don't know about my secret crafty life. They don't. Hi, Robin! Welcome, welcome! I don't think a lot of people know about my secret crafty life. I just keep it you... to mail. <clears throat> Ooh, Lana's here also. Hello, guys. And wel welcome, welcome to everyone. Thank you for all the thumbs up. We appreciate it. It's a lot of energy. Yes, two in the morning. Yes, that's what I tell my coworkers. Honey, young people have energy. Do you want to be old? Okay, so let's be young. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's Let's cute. do this. <clears throat> Let's go for it because young people do this business, okay? So, who's going to say no to that? Says no one ever. Nobody. Nobody wants to be old. Come on. Yes, or admit. So, that's how I'm able to garner some support <clears throat> when it comes to that specific project okay so i'm just connecting you guys so the spine is this one and i'm just connecting it i put it in the description box below this is the spine that i'm talking about technically it's the vortex but i'll just call it spine because why not why not <clears throat> it's super fast to assemble super quick and easy no problem at all. Okay. Um, I'm excited for your trip, Rach, with the kids. Yeah, I think it's going to be because the kids have never gone on a ferry before. And um, it's, you know, it's going to be a big get to go see the parliament buildings. Mm -hmm. And. You know, I don't know. I think it's going to be fun. They're they're going to be exhausted, and I'm going to be exhausted all of it. But it'll be a great, great opportunity to explore Victoria because they've never been there, and it's our capital yes. city. Yes, yes, yes. I think we went to Victoria one time when me and Julius were still dating, and we were single with right. his family. I don't think I'm going to put the gift card holder. That's not going to be a thing. I'm not going to put the gift card holder, you guys. 
that's okay. Oh, we have new friends. Auntie Catherine is here. And it is Wednesday right now, Catherine. Hello, Lucia. Good morning, ladies from the Netherlands. Hello, hello, hello. Getting a phone call. Julie's getting a phone call, but she's coming back. Oh, well, let's good. welcome our new friend, Lucia. She hey, is Lucia. from the Netherlands. Um, Bonnie's asking Lana, what, what's on your craft table, Lana? Yeah, yeah. we want to know. What we is want to know, too. Yep. You have a pretty dang project. You always make such pretty dangles. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Auntie Catherine is like, you can see how my work week has been so far. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's intense. If you don't know the day, it means that you need a vacation. That's yes. for sure. I feel you, Auntie Catherine. We feel your Ooh, pain, working. honey. Lana's working on a challenge for the entry mm -hmm. with Love Brie. Oh, yes. Yes. L Brie loves, loves, loves Maggie Holmes. Oh. That's Brie. Um, what collection are you working with, Lana? Because I know Brie loves Maggie Holmes for sure. Is there a specific collection you're working with or you're mixing collections? Um, Samantha says, riding out to Victoria is fun. Just dress for the weather. Yes. Yeah. I'm really hoping that it's it's a more pleasant day and not too wet. But we can't control the weather. So That's right. we'll dress appropriately. Yes. Yes. You cannot control the weather, but you can control other elements. Yes. Or try at least. Exactly. Because I really want them to be outside for a little bit and see some of it and you never know we might see orcas the last time i was on a ferry i got to see orcas that's right that was super memorable for you it was hey what's the name of the stamp digital stamp that you're using rach name of her uh i don't know um hold on she's super cute let me see where's my Oh, you know what? I left my laptop plugged into the printer, so I don't. I think oh, something okay. class. I think it was like classy. Classy, because it's so uh, cute, and how you colored it matches your paper like absolutely perfectly. Well, it's so funny because I did that super quick, and this is you know we always talk about swatching, but I just pulled out the major swap here, and I had the paper quickly. Um, and I sort of held it up and I just sort of scanned it along to pull okay. the color. And I really wanted to do like more like a pinky style dress. And then I liked the jeans for the hat and the pink and just kind of pulled some of the colors. I mean, I could have pulled this peachy color, um, but I think that probably would have been maybe more from my pastel set. But um, I just used the big set. Um, and it, it's amazing how you can make custom ephemera so fast with mm -hmm. your stamped images and, yes um, okay i don't know if any of you saw my instagram um this week that but um i posted some greeting a combination of greeting farm stamped images and lawn fawn images that i had in my stash to make um, um a birthday themed card for a baker and you use the pattern paper as the inspiration for the colors chosen and you color those different stamp company images together and you get a really cute ephemera set. I love it. I love how you were able to combine those two different lines from two different companies and they all played so well together because you use the colors <clears throat> to match them perfectly. It, yeah, it ties it all together and you know, the other big tip when you're making these, coloring these stamped images, as you've shared with me, is the highlighting with your gel pen afterwards. Super, it super cute. Makes a no huge time. difference. Yeah, that makes a huge difference. Oh, Lana is working on Garden Party and Sweet Story. Erica says, just had a strawberry black, raspberry black tea with boba. Ooh, and coconut jellies. From Tea Culture. Oh, I did not know that that existed. Where is that, Erica? Tea Culture. 
Lana says, I just finished with a group swap for Roxy. I don't know if I'm up for making four of the same thing again. I think I only oh. have it in me to do that kind of group swap once a year. Yes, it is exhausting for like doing multiples of multiples, right? Um, Robin Robin N says, I got my first greeting from Stamps, Anya Jiggles, yeah. and I ordered another one. Oh my gosh, yes, they are amazing. They're so fun to color, and the size of them are fantastic. <laughs> You're a beginner. Yes, um, yes. Color. this is what I'm working with right now. This is from the Christmas, the holiday Anya 6. So I have varieties that are stamped and colored, and I just don't know. You know, I'm going to put it beside, beside the project end. This, the, the polka dots, the white polka dots is inspired by popsicle sticks of Instagram. See, oh, some of our okay. polka dots. I like it. I did that on my images tonight too. Added a few dots. Yeah. Redhead. So I haven't, I just, yeah. So this is what I use, the Anya. I like all the hair colors. You're really experimenting with that. I am. I am being very brave because, you know, hair color is so intimidating. You know, so it many is. people are such an expert with the hair. And I'm like so new to this. My gosh. Oh, Alicia is here. Hi, Alicia. Um, Alicia. Auntie Catherine said, I hear you, NorCal girl. I can do one of something. Then all of my mojo is gone. Just saps out of it. Yes, it is very difficult to be, you know, multiple and multiples of things. Well, um, just because uh -huh. you're of a Go swap, ahead. you have to appease, like, you, you're, you know, you want to do each of your swap partners proud. Right. Um, like, you have three people to please versus just one. That's a lot of pressure for me. That is a lot of pressure, to be honest. Definitely a lot of pressure. So it's it's hard. Um, Lana says she was ambitious and made my own container for that group swap. So it took a lot of time. I'm so happy to be done. Finish filming it too. Oh my goodness. Now I just need to pack it up. Yes. There's so many stages in the swap. Yes. The packing, the making, the planning. Yes. And the filming. Right. Well, even that. Okay. You have to film before everything goes in the box, and you have to remember. Um, we did an eight-person swap. Jeez, eight-person swap for Valentine's Day. That's intense. That's intense. Erica says that was awesome. I wanted last week's stamp. They were they were out of stock. Yes, that's why if you want something from Greeting Farm, you order it because. They run out of stock so quickly, so grab it while it's available. I saw a video that said to punch a hole in your swatch so that you can watch. Ah, match the color easier. That's genius, Robin C. That is genius. Did you hear that, Rach? No. What? What? Say that again. Robin says, I saw a video that said to punch a hole in your swatch. So imagine your swatch. You punch a hole inside that so that you can just go through, I think, matching for the paper. That's oh. genius. I get that. Oh, that is genius. Whoever thought of that is a genius. Like Einstein level genius things. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. Never thought of that. Um, Bonnie says, I have to come up with a gingerbread something for the 25th gingerbread so it's like christmas all throughout the year what about the gingerbread cups oh no that's a marshmallow cup do you have stamps cousin bonnie you can make gingerbread embellishments yes the doodle bug um stamp set with gingerbread would be cute to color right and then they're useful for the person getting them to make their own projects with to embellish mm -hmm. yes 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 i think i'm gonna use my washi i feel like i've abandoned the washi tapes um 
And they're so easy to use. But we tend to ignore them. Oops, I'm not in. I like washi. Washies are efficient. It's funny how we kind of go through stages of craft. Right. I... Did you have a washi stage in your crafty life? I went for washi. I got rid of lots of it last year, the year before. I sold a bunch of it. Now mm -hmm. I just have a little bit that I use for my memory happy planner. Yes, yes, yes. I I do I did keep all of my doodle bug washies. That I could say I kept all my doodle bug ones. I de-stashed a couple of them, but I kept most of them because they stay with a collection. Is that how you organize your collections, Rach? Because mine is organized by, for example, all the Made With Love collection are all together, including washi, including um, doodle pops, and six by six, and all that. So I keep them all, everything in one, like a whole shebang kind of stuff. Yeah. And that's how I'm able to, you know, that's a new way of me organizing them. I used to, I used to organize them in my pegboard and just like that. All the six by six go together. And now I'm organizing them through collections. How are you, how are you organizing your collections? Well, I don't have any washi that belongs with any collection. So I just keep mm -hmm. all my washi. In one of these Dollar Tree um, popcorn containers. Um, I use it, I put it in one of these Dollar Tree popcorn containers. Um, so, and I just keep it on my shelf there at my fingertips. So I don't have mm -hmm. a big collection anymore. So I don't washi by collection. Mm -hmm. I would say the only for line that I keep all the kit and caboodle in, with the exception of the stamps. The stamps have their own doodle bug basket, but I have yeah. like. The six, six, like say with my fairy garden collection, I have the six by six paper pad, the 12 by 12, the loose sheets, the scraps, the chit chat, the ephemera, all the stickers, all of that put together in one theme. And that's in one section in my shelf. Um, I just do that for doodle bug. And then my other paper pads, like say for Michael's, I have that all in a, in a, in a section in my craft room. And mm -hmm. then I have an Easter iris case that has a Halloween one, a Valentine's that has everything that's related to that theme together. That's sort of how I do it. That was a long answer to your. <laughs> it's perfect. I like your answer. Thank you. Um, I think we all, I think we all organize our, our um, supplies based on how we craft. Like before, yeah. we used to craft with um, with a theme. Because I, I do that too. I have like an Easter stash. But mostly all my doodle bugs are categorized with their own collections. So that it's all not getting mixed in. And I know if I'm working with a specific collection, I have all of the goodies from that collection. And they all match together for sure. Um, when it comes to, because Doodle Bug has the petite prints and they have the textured cardstock, and that I keep in a separate area, specifically in my pegboard, um, because that you can just pull and shop from your stash when you're about to, when you're about to get your, you know, a new a new theme for the month. Um, I Ooh, tell us how you're organizing your dies. I'm organizing. Yes, Erica is organizing her dice right now. Um, because I have a mix of mine. I have my original ones, like the basic shapes, all the spellbinders, mm -hmm. all of that on a big, large picture frame that's magnetic that used to hang on my wall. Yeah. But now it kind of sits on the floor behind a shelf and I pull it out. <laughs> Um, cause I, I don't have the wall space with my shelving now. And then I have all my like chaos crafts and alley dies in a basket, uh, on top of my calyx 
but then once that's full, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm always open to hearing other ideas of how to organize that. Uh, did you I, do I, with I, your I, room? How did you organize your dies? Tell us how you organized yours. Mine? Yes. Me, Rach. Okay. So I organized my dies. I put them. Okay. Let me show you guys. <laughs> Just laughing at Andy. I'm very blessed. Boxes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have this. Okay. This is beside me, right? So this is my die, die storage. I have one area in front of me that's holding the weight of my camera holder. But essentially, this is majority of my thin metal dies. My Sizzix dies are in the cabinet. I'll show you in a little bit. But this one stores, like, these containers are, like, Halloween. Okay, let me show you. So these are my old ones that I haven't organized just yet. You know, the art bin ones. And that's what they look like right here. They have yet to be organized. But these have been recently organized by, this is like, you know, Halloween. Halloween, that's where you see the, the Chaos Crafts ones. A lot of them are Chaos Crafts. Um, Halloween, Coffin, um, Hello Bluebird. Lots and lots of Halloween. So I know that if there's anything Halloween specific, I have that. My favorites pile is so, so loaded. Sorry. I hope you're not getting dizzy, you guys. I'm so sorry. No, it's good. I like it. Good angle. Oh, Lisa's here. Hi, Lisa Halls. Hello. So uh, Lana was that, um, Christian, as you're explaining yours, that she likes to organize her guys by theme and season. And Robin said that that's how she organizes her dies um, as well, by holidays and season. Yes, I, I definitely agree. Because this one, the next one you're going to see is the Christmas one. The Christmas. But it's overflowing right now. Um, I do have some extra dies right here that I recently bought. Um, my, my goal was to put the new dies that needed to be used in here but it's getting bigger and bigger <laughs> these are some new ones these are some of the scrap diva design ones that i put in there some of them i used so if it's if it's like a design team i try to i try to use them immediately as soon as i if i'm if i'm able to but for the ones that i paid for myself you know they go in the back of the pile this is my favorites pile and it is loaded i love my favorite pile it used to be just small ones but it's getting bigger and bigger i'm very very blessed and i'm truly truly grateful and these are just miscellaneous things like basic shapes nest nesting dies right here that are easy to to find like circles um that kind of stuff these are the letters and then i have this to organize them when i'm playing with them um more dies right here and more of the dies that i need to use right here so i tell myself this is where you're going to pick first sorry about the the crazy moving part um Kiki is here. Hello, Kiki. I miss crafting with the girls. Yes, yes, yes. I live in California. I'm covering it because I'm going to show you my table, which is crazy right now. Well, I'm well, okay, give me a with black screen. My other die yeah. tip that I have when I'm using dies here on my desk. And you, you know, you have say like this is from the mason jar one that I did a couple weeks ago on a live. Yeah. I put them in this little um, dish that I got thrift. I thrifted a little glass dish, and that um, is so that they don't all the pieces don't get lost while you're temporarily you know, using 
the dye. So I find that yes, really I learned that tip from you, Rach, like putting it in a container. That's why I have this. I have this dish. It's a big dish, so hopefully you don't lose anything. This is what Rachel taught me, is having a dish to hold your dyes on the things that you're currently using. So, And then here also are some of the dyes that I have. So these are more KS Crafts. I marked them. If the container has a heart on it, th that's a die also. So these are dyes. These are Easter, you know, I tried to categorize them, but not really, it's not really working. These are, I have a specific area where I put all of my sentiment dyes. And I think that's, these are all my sentiments. I love these. All my sentiments from everywhere. Mostly case crafts, actually. Phyllis said that are hers are... Um, through poker. Samantha said she used Zutter bins that are bigger than the art co container bins, and she has a small magnetic bowl for the one she's currently using. Oh, a magnetic bowl! How fancy! So you know, if you want to play with dyes, this is normally covered. That's new. They weren't there before, Christian, right? That's new. They've been here. They've been here. I just don't feature them very much because this is always filled with things. Um, but this is additional. I also have some dies up there, but it's holding as a weight for my um, camera holder. Uh -huh. Where else do I store? Oh, I'm going to show you my Sizzix. Rachel's already seen that my Sizzix. It's my secret guilt area. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is my Sizzix. All those are Sizzix, Sizzix, Sizzix up to the wazoo. All so those are all traditional dyes that came out first. What are they? The steel something? What are those called? Yeah. The steel rule dyes. I have some pro. I have some pro right here. Those are the 12 inch dies right there. I have some of the Sizzix bigs right here. I use, I really, really love, love Sizzix. I've collect, I've been collecting from since I was single actually. And then that was my push gift for Nick. And that is why I have like a pro. Anyway, magnetic bowl is fancy. Well, Samantha says where you get the magnetic bowl comes from a tool store. And she said it's for ah. girls. Oh, so what a metal bowl looks like. I'm trying to picture that. But I think that's a great idea. Then you don't have to worry about it falling out. Right. That is genius. Where do you get that? Do you get that from a supply store? Like, I don't know, hardware store? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, right? That could be the source of that. Oh, I'd hate to go into one of those stores and not. <laughs> See, I'm looking for this and they just look at you like you're... You're crazy. Blank. Yes, Harbor Freight, Erica said. Oh, Harbor Freight. Said Harbor Freight, too. I don't even know what... Gosh. I don't even know if we have something like that. I am. I have Harbor have Freight. To be on the <laughs> if I find one, you know it, it's going to be in your box. That'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, Home Depot, Lowe's. Okay, I have Home Depot and Lowe's. So what section do you go to? That would be my the question. And then the keeps her big shut on the filing cabinet under board on wall to keep all that together they're for holding nails and screws so you're going to see that in the nails and screws section i didn't even know that there's a nail and screw section neither did i we need um education on the screws 
portion. <laughs> yes. I guess if there's an ephemera section, then I'm sure there's going to be a screw section. It only makes sense. Come on, Christian. Right? Specialty products. Specialty. Where am I going to put my girl? Because I wanted to put my um, my Anya. Is she going to be? Because she's having coffee. But how do I incorporate Anya? E. And we're not even in coffee month and we're calibrated with <laughs> coffee tea projects. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh, that is so true. That is so funny, Rach. We are totally calibrated for sure, for sure. That's so funny. The, the challenge I'm having now is I didn't pull enough stuff for like the decorating part. Because with exploding cards, I like to like have stuff coming out from behind her. But um, oh, yeah. I need to figure out what to be. I, I'm just so going to grab so some um, transparent stuff. Yes. So that it's, it's flying off of off of it. Let me get and I think if I, These are going to be Mother's Day. So I think what I'd like to do. Oh, maybe I can do that too. Is like actually, but I just put mom on floating behind her. Or would mom fit there? See, you, you, M. Oh, that would be cute. Okay. Have to figure something out there. Oh, yeah. This is where she's going to go. So I put that prematurely. Don't do that. <clears throat> I'm so excited that craft is organized because before I dreaded going to my craft room because it was such a mess. Do you feel that, Rach? Do you guys feel that when it, your craft room is a mess? You're like, oh, I cannot breathe here. I cannot. Too overwhelming. Yes, because you know you have to like clean up. And I and I like how we've both sort of committed, like when Christian and I craft um, together on other nights that we aren't doing a live, we both now about 10 to 15 minutes before we're mm -hmm. done, we both start cleaning up at the same time together. So we're sort of both supporting each other through the cleanup afterwards. That's a part of our crafty time together. It makes a huge, huge difference, um, you know being able to feel good that you left your room kind of decent compared yes. to yes. yeah compared to you just like oh especially after like a friday night live man man that's insane oh but first coffee this would be cute right rach look is this yes, cute i like that yes yes she's perfect for you the front of that cup yay yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The angle that I'm working on is tricky because I need to see the front, but then you guys aren't seeing it um, for adding images or flowers here. These flowers that I'm using are felt mm -hmm. flowers that I found at the Dollar Tree on one of my adventures, and they are something I ported and not used, and now they're in this container, so I'm my I've had this paper pad for a while and I just feel like it's perfect for spring and Mother's Day. Yes. I'm looking at my supplies now in such a way that... Oh, um, Erica says, how do you successfully cut acetate with metal dies? I use a precision plate. Oh my God, Ro is here. Hi, Ro. How are you, Ro? Welcome, welcome. So, Erica, I use a precision plate, and this makes a huge difference. I got this from Amazon, but they said you can get it at a discount in um, Hobby Lobby. Part of my stash is made downstairs. But first coffee is perfect. Yay, yay, yay. <clears throat> so, what was I saying? Okay, so part of my new new thing that I'm doing this year is I'm thinking 
Um, I'm thinking that all my craft supplies are are like, you know, they've lived in your room for a very long time. And they're just waiting. They're waiting for their turn to be the star. And so it doesn't make me feel bad when I'm using them because, like, it's your turn, honey. You've waited for a long time, and now you're the star of the show. So with, with that mindset, you're like, I got you. I'm going to use you so you can be the star this time because you waited five years for this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's well, just... <laughs> yes, it. I get it's it. A less hoardy, it's a less hoardy way of kind of making yourself use your stash, right? Because, you know, you don't want to be the hoarder. And I think it brings us joy when we use our, our goodies anyway. So uh, that's uh, how I'm... Oh, Tammy, let's be home from work. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Hello. Pam is here too. Hi, Pam. We are making... Hi, it is not coffee month, but we're still making coffee-related things. Don't know why. I think it's part of our DNA, Rach. It is. It really totally is. Well, mine's more tea, but um, it still is hot It's drink. still coffee hot month. Beverage. It's still coffee month. And my rationalization for coffee month is Scrap Diva Designs dyes are now back in stock. So I can freely, I can freely say... This is what I used, and it is back in stock, so you can get yourself some. Yeah. I didn't want to use it and highlight it too much if people don't have access to it. I, I hate that, you know, and you have to wait for the stock to arrive. I don't like that part. So now that I know that it's available, then we use. This is so cute. So cute. And this is a KS Crafts um, coffee you know, coffee month die, but first coffee. I love that font. That font it's is so absolutely phenomenal, I to be honest. I can't get enough of that font. Right? I was, I was no. one. What the hell? I love, 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 love it. I recently just did some die cutting. Rachel was there with me. Rachel's always there with me. <laughs> when I do stuff. <laughs> She's my advisor. She's my creative consultant. Ooh, this is cute. It's so simple and yet cute. Simple, right? Yeah. Hold on. I just don't want to glue my hot glue my finger. Your girl is so pretty. Rach, that is just gorgeous. Man, I'm just trying to add flowers and having it explode from the acetate. It's just with these cards, it's about layering and layering. It's just unfortunately the angle to have you guys looking and watching what I'm doing isn't probably the easiest to to see. But oh, Susan these, is these here. Hi, Susan. Cards. Hi, Susan. Susan is asking, where do you get the adorable girl stamp? Susan, which one? The girl on the left, the girl on the right? Um, they are from Greeting Farm. Rachel's stamp is a digital one, and it is also from Greeting Farm. This one is from the holidays. She's called What's the name, Rachel? The you got cut off. Oh, what is the name? Um, I think she's called a H at like something classy, classy Anya. I think that's something. Um, and it's in the digital section. So you could buy it now and print it and start coloring right now, which is always fun. Yes. Mine is holiday Anya number six from this past holiday season, 2021. So I know it's still available in the website. Um. Rach, did I tell you I ordered the mermaid stamp? No. <laughs> I did one night. You're getting ready for Mermaid Month. Yes, I'm getting ready. And I'm getting ready for Hello Kitty Month. I'm so excited for that. Um, 
I know I should be cricketing. I know I should be cricketing, but it just gives me gastric acidity when I think that I need to cricket something. <laughs> oh my God. Gastric upset. I need to get over that and just do it, right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, Tammy, no. this is one of those exciting cards. So once she's done, it folds up like this and will fit in an envelope. I guess she's a little bit higher than the, um, the like, you know, the, the sides. So it might need a slightly bigger card. But it's amazing. These cards fold up really cute and fit in a flat envelope. And they just have a big wow explosion factor when they pop up and open especially when you use all that acetate to fill in the gaps behind the angle is not the best to try and show you all it seems like there's a bit of a delay now tonight oh there is for the audio thank you Tony. these are so easy to make and as we were saying earlier before you got here they give so much bang for your buck in terms of time. Um, in terms of time, like I, well, look, like they, they just, they look like you spent hours on it when you give it to someone. So somebody who isn't crafty are um, wowed. Definitely be wowed. I'm gonna see if I can find her on the site, so then I can share the link. Just hold on, everybody. Christian. Take it away. Will Take I it away, Christian. Looking? Susan, the name of the company is The Greeting Farm Stamps. The Greeting Farm Stamps. Um, the Greeting Farm Stamps. Just type just type it, and then it's going to bring you to the website. And they, they, they ship pretty fast, to be honest. Rachel yeah, has been like loving Greeting Farm forever. Right, Rach? Since you were single. Yep. I had a love of these stamps. Since I was single living in my own um, apartment, there was, I was on, when craft, when crafty message boards were first sort of just starting, there was one gal on the website that kept, um, that kept uh, sharing her greeting farm images. And I just loved how she colored them. I loved how cute they were. And uh, I had to get some, so. Yes, Greeting Farm is relatively new to me, but Rachel's been using Greeting Farm forever. I ha I didn't realize how long I had been, actually, until we were sort of talking about that one night. Yep. I the first one was a butterfly one, and then the birthday cake one that I featured er earlier this week. Oh, you know my what? God. I don't see her. That is so cute. Ridiculous. Ridiculously super cute what you did there. Some reason, it doesn't look like she's on there. She's not there anymore. After. I love I it. She's closing her eyes. Drink her tea. It's really savoring the moment. And I love when I have an opportunity to drink hot tea, which I feel as a mom is sometimes a luxury. It's getting better. But um, I, I love the, uh, the chance to just close my eyes and savor the moment. Savor the moment. That is a well said verse in life. Savoring the moment. Because one minute of savoring the moment is so much better than... One minute of just winging it, right? Yep. Savor. Ooh, I need to put chocolate. Where do I get chocolate? Let me try chocolate. No, I don't. You have chocolates that I can borrow, right? Like? Um, I don't. Because when, when they come in my room, I sneak them and eat them. So, <laughs> I, I'm sneaking them from myself. <laughs> see her. Her name was Classy. I know there's a request if you want them to bring back an image. I had no idea she wasn't on here. 
when I yeah, especially for digitals, I'm sure they can do that for digitals. Because she was only like a digital, like they have images that they release that are only digital baked in a stamp, unless like there's a high high request. But um, what is that called? Up. Like a farmer's market, right? Yes. I don't know if they do farmer's markets for digis, but I know when we last talked about farmer's market, you can um, make a request. And if they get enough requests, they'll, they will re-release it. Um, Claudia was saying that Greeting Farm brings back certain stamps based on requests of people, stamps that have been retired. Um, and it happens every quarter, I think. It happens every Something quarter. Like and then next you just have to eat April them. Fourth is the next, the next one. Market. Yeah, but you can still email them ahead of time. And they make if they make um, decisions based on what they're getting. Let me see. Yeah, she was called Classy. I wonder how long I've had her for. I wonder if it says. She looks so cute. She looks like a proper lady. Proper lady. When you use digitals, you can resize them. So I remember when I first bought her, I used her on three by three teacup cards. So I resized it to fit a three by three. Yeah. This one tonight, size of a regular Greeting Farm Enya um, rubber stamp. So, um, Nice. That's what's great about this. You can resize them depending on your. Oh my gosh, what? she's from 2008. Why do I feel like just yesterday that I've had her? Good night, cousin uh, Phyllis. Thank you for hanging out with us. 2000, what, Rach? 2010. What? I and I, that I go, along with the graphic, oh my God. 12 years ago. Wow, it's wow, wow. HG. So I had no idea that they don't keep them on for a long time. Because some of these other ones that I have are still on there. The Cupcake Anya, the Grad Anya, and the Charlotte. So You're, you're talking about know, digitals? Yeah, the digital. Yeah, those are all digital ones. Because, um... Yeah. So cute. She looks like a proper lady who wears stockings, to be honest. Yeah. Well, she you has, has little gloves. Oh, gloves. see? Gloves. Gloves and stockings. And a purse. And a hat. Yeah. And her little teacup. I don't know. I Can just think it's it? sweet. I'm going it to turn sweet. this into a mother. I have anything else prepped for that. And I think I've added enough flowers now it's just rage you know you can sell that you can sell that it's absolutely adorable i hope so i otherwise i'm going to have tons of cards here but these are fun <laughs> these are fun to make they're and absolutely I, I, gorgeous two 12 by 12 sheets of paper so i mean sorry it uses two cards on one 12 by 12 really very cost yep. effective I love cost effectiveness. No problem. And I'm sorry that I'm featuring a stamp that's not even on there. I had no idea. I didn't check. I just, I'm like, oh, I need a cute one for Mother's Day because I have a butterfly one that I was going to use. And then I'm like, no, I have this one that's perfect. It's like a little lady having tea. So I print her off quickly. Good night, Lana. Thank you for hanging out with us. Hey, Lana. We're almost reaching the end here. Yes, we are. I was going to say, we are time check. Um, our producers are saying we got to go. I'm getting the signal. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up, ladies. Um, the next show is coming. <laughs> I absolutely enjoyed this. Let's do a recap real quick, Rach. Okay.
So uh, I we uh, I'm using a Greeting Farm digital stamp, and I'm sorry, I have just realized that it's not on the Greeting Farm site. But please send them an email. Let them know that you saw it uh, featured on our our late night cross and laughs live, and maybe they'll bring it back as part of the um, what do you call it, the farmers market. Farmers so market. basically, it's, um, a file from the cricket uh, that I had. And I have set it so that you can print, sorry, cut two of these boxes from 1, 12, 12. And what's beautiful about these cards is they fold up flat so they can go in an envelope. So you could mail these. They're not committed to being like this. And then I've used to kind of fill the background with flowers so it just pops. And then this floral paper is from a Michael's um, hot buy paper pad that's been in my stash for God knows how long. So that's what I made two of these tonight in an hour. Easy. Wow. Including coloring the images. Phenomenal job, Rach. As always, you're a highly efficient crafter. For my project, you guys, I use Scrap Diva Designs. I think this is called a coffee gift card holder. I didn't create a gift card holder, but rather I created a container where you can put um, you know, you can put your message right here or you can add a gift card right here, but it also has a compartment um, on here so you can put goodies and actual gifts. This is perfect for every single occasion all year long. That's what I love about certain dies is they're perfect all year long. So it's it's an amazing thing to put and invest in them because, you know, it's going to be in your craft stash. It's not going to rot. Because it's an all year kind of thing. Um, I also use the same exact die if you wanted to, which I didn't do tonight, is a place where you can put your gift card right here. This is now back in stock, so I have no shame in showing you some projects because you can have access to it. I know Erica's on vacation right now, but I know that this is now available. Hi, Nicole. Just woke up. 6.30 in the Netherlands. Good morning. And Stace. Hi, Stace. And this is what we used. This is the same exact thing. Everything is in the description box. If you want to replicate it, it's super, super easy. I have them there. I also use the Anya. Anya. Holiday Anya 6 from the Greeting Farm. I also use this Coffee Sentiment Dye from... KS Crafts with Hannah. I absolutely adore their sentiment dies with a shadow. It just makes it just just it just speaks it just able to handle on its own. Just so just just so love it. It's my favorite. Um, where do you yes, I <laughs> Erica, I got it from work. <laughs> I got it from work. So that's what we did. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's episode of Late Night Crafts and Laughs with Rachel and Christian. And I hope to see you guys next week. Same time, same channel for next week's episode. And then I'm going to have a live. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a live either tomorrow or Friday because it's my son's birthday. So probably not Friday. I don't know if I'm going to go live tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. It's either Thursday or Saturday because I'm off Saturday. Um, but I will let you guys know in a post. Rachel, I enjoyed tremendously hanging out with you today. And everyone, thank you for being here. Any last words, Rach, before we go? No, but for joining us, we always appreciate your company. And I look forward to connecting with you all next Wednesday. Same time, same place here at Christian Scrap Adventures channel. Yay! Good night, everyone. Stay crafty, stay strong, stay safe, and be Have kind fun. to each other. And stay crafty. <laughs> I said that already. <laughs> okay. Bye, everyone. Good Thanks. night. Bye.